Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally decorating my dining room and family room and making it all spooky for Halloween. I shared my fall decorate with me a few weeks ago, so you will see some of the same things in there, but I will just add a little bit of spookiness to it. And then some things I just completely like switch up and change around. I've said in my Halloween DIYs this year and my fall decorate with me that we do do things a little spooky around here for Halloween. So it's not like super creepy, but it is a little bit spooky. But if you do like that, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new, I would love and appreciate it so much. And I will say that two of the things that I added into my decor this year, I knew I wanted last year. And by the time I realized I wanted it, they were sold out everywhere unless I wanted to spend like a crap ton of money. So as soon as I saw them in the stores this year, I knew I had to pick it up. So I picked them up a couple of months ago, not a couple months ago, maybe a month ago, and I was so excited to put them out. Hopefully this video gives you guys some ideas or inspiration if you are needing any to finish up your Halloween decorating around your house. You guys know that I love to do things affordably. I spray paint a lot of stuff. I pick up lots of things at Dollar Tree. Obviously I also reuse things from past years, but the majority of all of my Halloween and holiday decor is all super affordable, which is exactly how I like it to be. Let's get to spookify. Every time I type in that word spookify, it corrects me and says like it's not such a word. I'm making it a word. Spookify. Spookify your house. Spookify this. It's a word. I like it. It's my word. I'm gonna get a show that says spookify. <laughs> Alright, enough. Let's decorate. I just started adding some Halloween stuff and with my fall, I took that beware sign that I loved from Dollar Tree. I took some things underneath it just to make it a little bit taller for that area. Then of course I started taking some creepy cloth which I use all around my house in Halloween decor. I love it. I think it just gives it a spooky vibe and it's really easy to obviously use. So, and I think it's easier to use than spider webs. I love spider webs too, but creepy cloth is just, you know, it's just good. I wanted to put creepy cloth as the base on top of this chest of drawers or a buffet whatever you want to call it but there's actually clothes in there Shh, don't tell anyone <laughs> um so i just took my pumpkins that i had back from fall and put them back on there and then added a few more more halloweeny pumpkins i usually use a piece of creepy cloth over this that is longer but i only had cut up versions and so i just went with that this time I added in that little tier of skulls that I made from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. I still love it and it's held up pretty well. I wanted to make the skulls a little bit taller so I just took a cupcake stand and propped it up on that. Then I just started adding in some more of the little skeleton creatures that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I have a couple skeleton creatures that I picked up at other places last year but most of them are from Dollar Tree, especially all the little ones. I love those little creepy skeleton birds, I think they're so cute especially on shelves or you know, spooky. I basically kept the shelves the same except for adding the birds and then I added a Halloween card into a picture frame and put one up on the left. But of course I had to add some creepy cloth to my shelves. Thank you. 
Now I wanted to add some spiders into my lampshade. I've done this for a few years now. I think the first year I did bats, um, but I added the spiders in this year because I had a bunch of spiders on hand. But I love doing this to lampshades. It really only works if you have a light colored lampshade, but it turns out so cute. Of course, Alan Bear is trying to steal my creepy cloth. Adding the spiders into the lampshades is so easy. You just put a little bit of tape and it makes it super creepy. I wanted to keep my pumpkin DIYs that I did for fall on the table, but just like spookify them. So I added some creepy cloth initially to the top of them, but then I didn't really like that. So I went over to the lampshade and just added some creepy cloth to the side so it's not covering um, the ventilation, you know, that the light bulb needs. It's nowhere near the light bulb. It's just basically hanging on the outside of the lampshade. Again, I tried with the creepy cloth over the pumpkin, a bigger bit of it, but then I decided let me just wrap it around and make it the base of that. And then I decided that I would add spider webs and spiders to the top of it instead. These are the Halloween decorations I was so excited about. Last year, I really wanted two skeletons to sit on the end chairs of my dining table. I thought that would be so cool and spooky. So as soon as I saw them in Lowe's this year, I knew I had to have them. I took some of these chains that were from Dollar Tree and added them to the table and wrapped them around the skeleton's arms so it kind of looks like they were chained there. You know, like I want this dining room to feel like a spooky dinner party that went bad and some people died there and that's the skeletons and so there's some skeleton creatures and then some live creatures roaming around it now. I took those little lanterns that are from Dollar Tree and just spread them around the table. I thought that gave it like a spooky vibe and they little potion bottles that you know aren't really potion bottles but that were from Dollar Tree I added those to the table as well because I thought that would be cool looking spread around there then over on this side table I just took those two spooky looking books that I got from Dollar Tree that little cat I had that tree from last year at Target dollar spot and then I have this little spooky clock it goes off and like makes noises um, when you turn it on and just added that to that area and again added some more spiders into the lampshades because you know I said it I like the spiders in the lampshade maybe next year I'll go back to bats I don't know we'll see I know my shelf looks a little crooked here and I was a little bit concerned by it but I think my camera was actually just angled a little crooked because I went and looked at it like in person and it's definitely not crooked it just looks it in this camera angle Then on my coffee table, I just took this wreath that I made from Dollar Tree out of like the black roses a few years ago and took my gold skeleton and put it in the middle. And then I took these little silver glittery balls that light up and just made it around the pumpkin. I just thought it gave it a cool look.
daughter has named are skeletons. That one is Chucky and the other one is Lucky. Didn't get any new Halloween pillows or blankets this year since I have Alan Bear and he is still a puppy and he has been loving chewing on my pillows. So I will save those purchases for next year. These haunted houses I share at the end of the video as some bonus footage of me and my daughter decorating them because that was my daughter's area that she wanted to decorate. So if you want to see that, it's cute. It's all the way at the end though in case I know this video is already going to be a little bit long, so I just added that as a bonus footage. Another Dollar Tree card made into a little picture, and I added the skull on top of the books and moved the cat onto the pumpkin. I love this Dollar Tree skeleton painted gold so much and I love how it looks lit up. And now we're back to reality. Uh -uh. No. Wonder. Yep. No. This is my life. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Alan Bear. Drop it. Drop it. Don't wag your tail at me. Drop it. Look at his eyes. He's just waiting for me to leave to steal the blanket. So this is what everything looks like decorated all at night. This was done before I added the spider webs to it. This was done on the initial day that I decorated everything. So some things are missing, some extra spider webs and spiders, but I just wanted to share what it does look like all lit up at night.
Hey girl, <laughs> do you want to put up the haunted houses on the TV area? Like where we can light it up sure. before you go to bed? Sure. All right, let's get the haunted houses. She's trying to master a round off. Oh. Jake's, yo! <laughs> All right. I have a question for you guys. Whoa. What should my mom Whoa. call you instead of guys? Oh, wow, that's a good question. You know, like, Mommy and Daddy Show, like, yeah. the Meglo Show? We call, like, everyone that watches us and, like, loves us and we love them, we call them Megalos. So, so you I comment down below what we should yeah, well, I should just like people that like like my child. I know people what? always have like fun names, right? Yeah, so I know. We're gonna take some of the ones that we like. Yeah, we need a name. So comment down below. That's what a good you question. Think. What made you think of that? Now I'm gonna show you my time lock. She. This is her project for school. So you can hear the dryer in the background. She documented all of her. her momentous occasions in her seven years. And what else did you do though? That I set you a, apart from the class. I did a video. You did a video and you voiced over and you put the pictures in and you edited it, right? Yeah. We were very proud of her. She was the only one in her class that did a video. video. It was very cute, so cute. All right, let's see where these haunted houses are, shall we? My God. <laughs> Here, put that over there. You did a great job on your project. Okay. Never ever buy this jump rope. It's useless. So in one of these boxes. Is there haunted houses? Yeah, I have a whole thing of haunted houses. Oh, here they are. Let me look in here. It's, it's right here. Okay, so we need to take, oh shoot. Oh. We need to take some of this stuff, Lennon. All of the stuff down Where here. Is this stuff? All of this stuff down here is for your bedroom. This is your, um, you made this last year, remember? I think you got me have this on my Lord. I don't think I ever made a video out of it, honestly. If you go back in the future, you might be able to find it. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I never, we made this during the hurricanes, and I don't think I ever made a video out of it. Yeah, but we just Maybe. took Dollar Tree, spider web, styrofoam thing, you ribbon. You can still make it. Yeah, it's so cute, right? Last year. Oh yeah. She made a pumpkin. You get like all these bugs. Skeleton and, and put spray the spray paint. You get a skeleton. I would recommend actually regular painting though. The spray paint does not adhere to these um like orange styrofoam pumpkins. But yeah, you made that last year. Yeah. We gotta put these in your room, dude. I'll go put them in my room. Oh, and this thing you got last year? Oh yeah. I think that you should put your little pumpkin thing on here. Yeah, right? That would be cute. So we These are all random bracelets. Yeah. You gotta get more organized. Organize it, girl. Organize it, girl. So I think you should put this like right here, maybe. Put your little Halloween bow up front. Uh -huh. I have two. We're gonna wait to do my room and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the haunted houses. Cause that's what you really want to do, and then yeah. you got to go to bed yeah, for school. school. Tomorrow. All right, let's go do the haunted houses. Yeah. What about the lava lamp? Um, it's a salt lamp. Oh, sorry. Salt rock. So, start putting some of these little houses 
on there and we'll start arranging them. We gotta put the big ones on there. So kind of move them around. I'm going to let you kind of have this area to do what you want. This is an important spot. This is right under the TV. Where everybody, where everybody looks. That's what I did. Cars. You know what I want to collect? What? Like these little cities. Oh yeah, where are you going to put a bunch of cities? No, for like different holidays, for like Christmas. We have one for Christmas. We do? Yeah. Like, 4th of July. 4th of July? Was it like See, I feel like we should have put the lights. Maybe like Thanksgiving. I feel like we should put the lights underneath. Here, I'm just gonna spread the lights and then you can like build the stuff around the lights, you know? What do you think? The lights aren't good. Why? Here, then let's just light the back. We'll just light the back. Yeah. Yeah, we'll light the back. Okay. We don't want the lights to mess up. I like how serious you're taking it. But you don't want everything just in a straight line, you know? No, it's a street. Oh, so that's like in that, like the middle is like a, like the street. And this, these. This is the. Where street. The cars go. Oh. This is the sidewalk. This is the little park. Oh. Interesting. So the whole entire street is lucky because they look like the park. And then this. But all the dark ones are in the front, and all the light ones are like all the ones that. Does that matter to you? Like all the small little houses are in the front, and then. Yeah, that's what it was supposed to. Be. Small ones, big ones. Oh, okay. So the. These the small ones would be hidden in the back. Oh, okay. yeah. True. True. Oh, this is It's a little it's a little empty over then, here in that corner. I know. There used to be houses. <laughs> Why don't you move one of those houses over? Um, Alright, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Okay. I like where you're going with it. Good. Super easy. We need some like spiders running around in here and stuff, you know? And we need cars. I know. Little creepy cars so they can be going. Don't you have your like little like that one like miniature car? Don't you have any little miniature cars you can spray paint black? Like my Hot Wheels? I'm sure, I think that they have some at Dollar Tree if you don't want to spray paint any of yours. You're 
ranging height as well. Keep going. I like it, kid. All right. High five. Bedtime. From my main crunchy ice. With once super tight. From my main crunchy ice. With once super tight. Turn around, touch a cat, take a rope, and I'll die. Freeze. American cheese is a two. Oh my gosh. It's time for bed. Say good night. Good night. One thing you guys have to know about me when it comes to decorating, especially for the holidays, I never feel like I'm done. Like I have this problem where I always think I want to add one more thing here or change one thing there and I go over in my mind over and over again. I'm like, I want to change this or I want to get one more thing to add there. Doing that makes it so hard for me to get these kinds of videos up sooner because I feel like once it's up there, that's it. And so you guys will see it in that way instead of if I do end up adding something to it or changing something. I'd rather you see like the final result you know what I mean I just have to come to terms and accept the fact that I am the way I am and I just need to put out there what I have so far so you guys can see and enjoy and maybe get some ideas or inspiration before Halloween comes and goes also I just wanted to put out there that I do not look at or watch videos of my home decor, how I had it from the previous year, like last year I did a Halloween home tour, and so I did not watch that so that I am not like re-triggered to decorate similarly to how I did last year. Like obviously some things I remember, but um, you know, the little details and stuff like that, I like to just kind of get new inspiration each year. Sure, I'm using some of the same things that I had from last year, but I use them in different areas and different ways, stuff like that. So if you missed my Halloween home tour from last year, I will link that in the description box below. This has to be my longest video ever, right? If you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure to leave in the comments below a Spider web emoji. I don't know why, but let's just go with the spider web emoji. Leave it in the comments below if you did make it this far. I appreciate you and love you so much. I'd be very curious because, like I said, this is like my longest video ever. But I wanted to include that super cute footage with me and Lennon decorating and doing the haunted houses because I just want to have that to look back on too. She was so sweet and wanted to do that so bad, and she is like so proud of her little spot that she decorated it in the family room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and maybe gave you some ideas and inspiration. Alan Bear has now joined me again. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you're new and you stayed this long, you're amazing and I would love for you to subscribe. That's it for today. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.